That's right, Ellen. The governor sent that request to the White House today for that major disaster declaration. She's hoping that will pave the way for more help for Michigan. This crisis is ramping up exponentially. Governor Gretchen Whitmer officially calling on President Trump for a major disaster declaration in Michigan. This will help us provide meals to families who need them. It would help us provide rental assistance and temporary housing. Whitmer says it would also help the state provide counseling for families devastated by COVID-19. It would also provide much needed additional capacity in our state in the event we need to quickly set up field hospitals or other facilities. I'm hopeful that the president will grant my request for major disaster declaration in full. Whitmer has also now signed several executive orders, including extending the deadline for counties to complete the canvas of the March 10th primary vote. She also signed an order that allows pharmacists to dispense emergency prescription refills for up to 60 days worth of supply for patients that insurers must cover. And the governor reminding us today her stay-at-home order is not a request. It's the only way to stop the spread of the deadly coronavirus. It doesn't mean inviting 10 of your closest friends over for dinner or hosting a party at your house. If we don't all do our part, more people are going to get sick and more people are going to die. And this will go on longer than it needs to. Whitmer also calling on all businesses to comply with that order as well. If you're not a life-sustaining business, you're in violation of the law and you're needlessly exposing your employees to COVID-19. You're needlessly endangering our communities by putting more uh, pressure on a healthcare system that is very close to the maximum already. And you're risking your business license and fines. It's not clear how soon the governor will hear back from the White House, but of course, we'll keep you posted. Reporting live, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. It is clear that we do have to go out of our way to be safe. Heather, thank you so much.